I miss the days when TV wasn't 24 hours a day and there would be E begins its broadcast moment like this one. I really love the clock display here, counting down to the start time. It seems unbelievable now that there was a time when the network did not squeeze ads into every conceivable time gap and would allow 20 valuable seconds of time to go by with just a clock display. Anyway, earlier clocks used by RTM were actually videos of an actual physical clock. This one is computer generated, I believe. This is the Malaysian anthem My Country. If you look at this scene, there is a pink and white KL minibus in the shot. Those were a fixture in KL before the LRT and MRT arrived. The anthem video begins and ends with the Malaysian flag. It then shows scenes from Malaysian life. Here is the national car, there was only one national car company at the time. We also see the king at that time, and right at the end, we see the parliament building. I was informed by other users on this channel that this is the more upbeat version, which replaced the slower one from the 80s. This is the first in a sequence of three items from the mid-1990s. This was one for RTM. RTM had two channels at that time, TV1 and TV2. I love all three items, but the third one is my all-time favorite. All three items had an outer space or celestial theme. The tagline translates to or loyal companion. This TV2 item is my all-time favorite. Not only are the graphics captivating and well-crafted, the music is really well-composed. It uses some very interesting chords and has an unusual bass line. I always feel that TV1 and 2 had the best items in the mid-1990s. This was the bumper for the program summary. Hi, assalamualaikum dan salam this presenter saudara. did not seem to appear as much as some of the others. The word you see behind her means Wednesday. Ya saudara, hari ini hari Rabu, 24 hari bulan Julai, 1996. You can see that her clothes were sponsored by Sparkman Shop, a popular tailoring chain at that time. Untuk sama-sama kita meninjau susunan rancangan-rancangan menarik dari sekarang sehingga jam 9 malam nanti. Daddy Long Lakes was a Japanese anime which had a Malay voiceover in this broadcast. It is based on Jean Webster's book of the same title. Dalam bahasa Malaysia iaitu seri kartun Daddy Long Legs. There are quite a few typos in the Chiron. There is a caps lock error for plain love at 6 p.m. You also see that there are two programs slotted for 7 p.m. Not sure what was going on in the control room that day. Pada jam 6 petang pula, kepada peminat-peminat drama Cina bersiri, jangan ketinggalan mengikuti sambungan kisah Plain Love dengan membawakan episod yang ke-16. This is the title card for Daddy Long Legs, the first program on TV2 on July 24, 1996.
Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera saudara. Apa khabar saudara pada hari ini? Kami berharap saudara berada di dalam keadaan sihat sejahtera di samping keluarga tercinta. Ya saudara, hari ini hari Rabu 24 hari bulan Julai 1996. Baiklah, sambil beristirahat, apa kata saudara meluangkan sedikit masa bersama saya untuk sama-sama kita meninjau susunan rancangan-rancangan menarik dari sekarang sehingga jam 9 malam nanti. Sejurus selepas bacaan ayat-ayat suci Al-Quran, siaran TV2 petang ini dimulakan dengan sebuah siri kartun yang dialih suarakan ke dalam bahasa Malaysia iaitu siri kartun Daddy Long Legs. Ini diikuti dengan sebuah lagi siri kartun Hurricanes pada jam 4.30 petang. Dari dua buah siri kartun, adik-adik dibawa berhibur sambil belajar pula menerusi rancangan kanak-kanak The Magic Box pada pukul 5 petang. Dan seperti biasa, pada pukul 5.30 petang, berita Tamil akan ke udara. Pada jam 6 petang pula, kepada peminat-peminat drama Cina bersiri, jangan ketinggalan mengikuti sambungan kisah Plain Love dengan membawakan episod yang ke-16. Selamat malam Malaysia, Daddy Long Legs. Semoga adik-adik terhibur.